Hello, it is Sunday, it's a new weekly reading vlog and I'm coming to you on Sunday because I have reading updates. Um, so I read my buddy read pages for Dragonhaven. It was got it got a little bit more interesting in these chapters. Um I'm still not that invested in the overall plot, but things are happening, which is better. <laughs> um and then I did my reread of the Love Hypothesis. This book makes me so happy. And I feel like I definitely needed this as like a palette cleanser because I did so well on my reading in February, in March, and then already in April, I've read like a fair amount. So I feel like I needed a palette cleanser and I feel like this is the one I needed because I feel so happy now. It does mean I now want to reread everything Ali Hazelwood, which is not good for my TBR, but it's, it's fine. It's fine. But I needed this today because I had a little bit of a headache and I just wanted to chill after editing my vlog and reading my buddy pages of this. And that's what I did. I read about half of it on sprints and then I finished it this evening. Like I just put my headphones in, did some colouring and was on the sofa. It was great. <sighs> this was not on my Tomes and Treasures TBR. Um, which means I can use this to get coins or a coin for something. I can't remember which one I chose. I can't remember which prompt I chose. I think I chose female main character, which I think is a platinum. I could be wrong. But anyway, my plans for the week, reading wise. Um, so Chloe from Chloe's Books has a Patreon buddy read. And this is the book. Um, I am a little bit dubious because I don't have the audio book for this because Everand has limited me from this book and I needed it <laughs> and it's limited me and I'm not getting it, access to it until the 19th, which I think is just mean of them. Um, it's not available on... Oh, actually, I need to check Box. It's not available on Libby, but it might be available on Bor Box. We'll see. I'll like, have a look um, because I don't want to use a credit on it because I don't know if I'm going to like it. So we'll see. Um, I also want to read Luminaries because I have the um, audiobook with Box for this. Um, there was a whole thing because I, I was logged into my sister's Box, and like three days ago, I put a hold on it on my sister's borrow box and it said available 8th of April 2024 because my Libby doesn't have it and Ash's borrow box doesn't have it until October which is really frustrating um so I looked on my sister's borrow box and it had it available in the next few days so I was like oh I'll do that and then I went to check to see if it was in yet because like maybe it had come in like a day early and it wasn't even in her holds so I was like Oh, oh no. I don't want to read a fantasy that's fairly small writing, physical only. Um, and I realised I can actually use my library card on Box as well. So I was like, oh, if it's not on Libby, it's not going to be on Box. Incorrect. I logged into my library card on Box, and it was there available straight away. So I'm starting this tomorrow. So that's made me very happy. Um, I also want to get to Kingdom of Copper this week. I have the audiobook on Audible. Because I got it in a two-for-one sale like two years ago. Um, and I think I can access the ebook on Scribd. So I can do like a, a dual reading of that like I did with City of Brass. Because I really enjoyed that. Um, for now, I'm going to leave my reading as this. These. <laughs> And Kingdom of Copper. Um, this, I think, we should finish this week. Ah, basically finish it in this week. Um, so, yeah. This I will not finish this week because I haven't actually set out the body pages. I should do that. Um, I have the list. I have the, like, breakdown on my phone. I think it's, like, a nine days. It's up to Sunday. <laughs> so that's fine it starts monday finishes sunday um so this i'll get done this week this i'll get done this week 
this will definitely get done this week and then hopefully kingdom of copper anything on top of that will be a bonus but i'm just gonna try and take it a bit chill this is me it won't be chill um because i only actually have a few extra books other than this all on my tbr um but i would like to get through it a bit quicker so that i can then just mood read for the rest of the month because next month is going to be fairly busy what with um me doing my own readathon and i'm gonna challenge myself a little bit and do extra roles than what i usually do however i am gonna play it i'm not gonna play it the way i usually play it i'm gonna play it as per the readathon so i'll get to choose my prompts when i hit a planet um, which will be very weird <laughs> i'm not used to doing that um but i also in may want to get to a bunch of star wars books because i've got all three of the from a point of view um and then I want to get to the last Thrawn book because I've had it for so long I want to get to the Rogue One book because I'm so intrigued by that because I love Rogue One um so yeah I want to get to quite a few um so we'll see we'll see but anyway this was a really long intro um I will catch up with you tomorrow hello it is Monday I am so tired. It is four minutes past nine. I'm really sad because it's the Kingdom of Ash live show and I was really active in the chat at the beginning at half seven and then about 20 minutes ago I just started zoning out because I was just so so tired. I had a really bad night's sleep last night um, and, I'm, and I had to go on my walk on my lunch and that really has taken it out of me and I'm just tired so i'm gonna make this a fairly quick update but i do have a fair amount of reading updates also my face is really red because i'm really warm apparently even though i'm not um i read my buddy read pages for dragon haven so i'm like almost halfway through almost today's pages has brought this up a little bit I was feeling really meh about it but i'm really glad i've powered through because things have actually started happening now and it actually feels like the story is going somewhere. Do I hate almost all of the male characters? Yes, they're all trash. And I really, really hate that Robin Hobb writes her characters like this. But um, I'm starting to enjoy the actual plot with the dragons. So that's something. And then Chloe's Patreon buddy read for Secretly Yours started today. So I've read the first 44 pages and my trigger <laughs> again to an extent not as bad nowhere near as bad as it usually is but to an extent it's there which i'm not okay with also one of the this character's friend is english and the narrator i need the narrator to stop trying to do an english accent because it is so cringy and also i need her to stop using what she thinks is English slang like ciggies for cigarettes I have never once heard anyone call it a ciggy and sloshed for drunk no we use many words to describe being drunk but sloshed is not one of them no um and the first POV chapter of him him the way he's perving on her is kind of starting to give me the ick so this is going great i i have many good things to say about this clearly we'll, we'll see how it goes one thing i do have many good things to say about though is the luminaries oh my god i am 86 pages in so i'm not even that far but i'm already obsessed with this like the vill is it is it a village it's a village isn't it it's a town with the different estates, like the Monday estate, the Tuesday estate, there's all that seven estates. And I am obsessed with it. And the whole like hunting and like banshees and werewolves. And I'm just like, this is so good so far. My main thing, and it's it's nothing on the book because the writing it the it's written so well that it's making me angry. I hate that Winnie is being like Winnie and her mum are being punished and ostracised for something her dad did. Like, I really hate this whole, oh, 
you're related to him so you're trash too let's get you out of our society i hate it when ya books do that or any books to be honest because it is not the child's fault but anyway overall absolutely loving this um and i've got some really exciting mail from publishers today like two publishers so first up from scholastic i got beastly beauty by jennifer donnelly this is jennifer Donnelly's, donnelly's new retelling it comes out when does it come out this is an actual finished copy not an arc so i can't remember when this comes out hang on a sec because i'm pretty sure i've written it down somewhere okay this is coming out on the 7th of may in the uk i really enjoyed stepsister um i think it was a, a very very high four star and then i read poisoned this year five star absolutely loved it and a few days i think it was after i finished poisoned i saw um tina from scholastic um tweet about anyone that was interested and i got straight on that message tina and tina sent me out a copy i'm so excited to read this i don't want to wait for may is it on my april tbr no however my april tbr is very small and i'm already like halfway through it so i think i'm going to squeeze this in this month because i am insanely excited um, and then i also got some mail from little browns so they send out a newsletter every quarter every month or every quarter i can't remember um with like books that they've got available to request and you have to number them like what one you would prefer if you're picking more than one and i i usually only ever have one but there was two that i was interested in there was old flames and new fortunes by sarah hogel and then there was truly madly deeply by alexandria belfler now i put alexandria belfler's book as my number one choice because even though i'm so excited for both of them truly madly deeply is steve harrington on the cover it's not steve harrington but it looks like him um, and i'm so excited for it um i did not get that one however i did get old flames and new fortunes by sarah hogel and i'm also extremely excited to read this um same with this i think i'm gonna see if i can get these read this month because i don't want to wait <laughs> they both sound so good so i think i'm gonna try and read these maybe even this week i might see if i can get one this week we'll see um but thank you to scholastic and little brown for sending me these and i'm another reason i want to get to them this month is because I am so bad at reading review copies and I want to get better because, you know, publishers send them to me for a reason, especially when I'm re actually requesting them. Um, so I want to make a conscious effort to be better at that. And this year is the year I'm doing that. I'm starting to get a bit more on top of my NetGalley. I'm now at like 81% on NetGalley, which I have never been over 80 I'm very happy with myself on that um so yeah i want to i want to keep up with that um so yeah and i'm gonna read this these months um i just don't know which one yet um but yeah that is my updates oh no one more i got other mail today so um i obviously i announced i am doing a readathon in may for may the tbr be with you um it's a very unfortunate but maybe not so much coincidence chloe is also an, <laughs> hosting a readathon in may so she's doing her second round of the vampire diaries readathon um so we have new quote bookmarks so of course i ordered them um <laughs> she hasn't actually posted the announcement yet we haven't seen the announcement but as patreons um we have already like learnt of the announcement and the announcement goes up on the 11th which is before this vlog will be seen by everyone so i don't feel bad about talking about it before she has talked about it because by the time you watch this hopefully you would have seen that announcement and if you haven't go watch the announcement because i'm really excited and am i going to be doing both readathons yes my readathon is so easy to link into other readathons so yeah but we have bookmarks and i'm very excited um so yeah that is my update i've just got that burst of energy to talk to you and now i can already feel my body shutting down ready for sleep again so i'm gonna catch up with you tomorrow
Hello, it is Tuesday. I have possibly the best reading update, but I'm going to get the other ones done first. So, I read my buddy Rue Pages of Dragon Haven. I'm definitely enjoying this a lot more now. I feel like things are actually happening. I still hate all the characters, but in the sense that these people are not nice people and they're written that way the writing is very good on on that um but more action is happening and i'm really liking how the plot is progressing um so enjoying this more cannot say the same for this i am now like just under 100 pages in and i just he has given me the ick and now i can't like I can't. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up DNF in this. We'll see. I don't want to. I would like to get through it. But I I, th I think this is my last Tessa Bailey book. I think I'm giving up. Um, but then on to possibly the best, the best update. I finished The Luminaries. This might be my favourite Susan Denard book. And if you know me, you know how much I absolutely adore the Witchland series. Like Blood Witch and Witch Shadow are my favourites in that series, which everyone seems to hate those two books, which makes me sad because they're my favourites. Wind Witch is my least favourite. Um, but this, the atmosphere and the intrigue was just all the way up there. I loved seeing Winnie come in to her character like and sticking up for herself and I will say I have a theory and I am so frustrated that my theory hasn't been confirmed nor denied in this and I'm like fully looking at the hunt in moon right now and I'm like I can't do it it's not on my TBR I'm already reading stuff off my TBR this month don't do another one but I really want to because it's right there because this has ended on a cliffhanger in the sense that I don't know what's happening and I'm confused, but in the best way to be. Um, so yeah, new favourite book. Annoyed that I've waited this long, but also kind of glad because I have the second book waiting, but then I don't want to have to wait for the third. Just see my dilemma. Um, but this was actually book number 80. <laughs> so... Let's just update this because I have just hit my reading goal for the year on the 9th of April. I'm very, very happy with the luminar luminar luminaries. Why can't I say it? I'm really tired. <laughs> um, it is nearly 11pm. Um, am I going to be starting another book tomorrow that isn't on my TBR? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, it is Wednesday. I'm going to try and make this a fairly quick update because I have not been having the best day mental health wise today. Um, it started out fine. And then there's just been a few little things that started off making me a bit annoyed and then full on trigger, which wasn't great. And I didn't need that. And I've just been feeling off for the rest of the day i had a cry mm, that's a lie i had multiple cries but yeah so i just want to go to bed early and for this day to be over um i did my buddy read pages of dragon haven or have i finished my buddy read pages um one thing really annoyed me that elise does i'm not gonna say what she does but she did something and i just what she did the other character didn't deserve Elise was being a nice person but the other person didn't deserve it and I'm just like eh. um and I've been struggling <laughs> to find motivation to pick this up so I binged the rest of it today it was a two star I think I'm done with Tessa Bailey I don't want to read any more of her romances because 
if it was just the cringe it would be fine but this man fully gave me the ick I know she can write good male love interests because I've read It Happened One Summer in Hook, Line and Sinker and I love Brendan and Fox. He was gross. There is one bit in particular from a chapter that's his point of view, which um, do you know, I'm going to do spoilers. So when I put my hand down, I've stopped talking spoilers about this. There was one scene in particular where he is fantasizing over situations they could end up in one of which being oh what if she needs help with like a flat tire or something and then her way of thanking me is no absolutely not you sir are a walking red flag get out of my fiction spoilers over i hated it um so much like the thing is i keep joking like oh it's because i'm gay i just don't want like straight romances anymore but it's not even that it's nothing to do with it being a female male romance it's just not good writing and i know people are going to disagree with me you can have your opinion if you love this book good for you I hate it and <laughs> I'm done. Goodbye, Tessa. Um, and then this evening, I didn't know whether to start my physical book or my audiobook because I have two um, that I really want to read, neither of which are on my TBR. Um, but I decided to go on my physical book and I started Old Flames and New Fortunes, which, yeah, I know it's only just come out. I literally got it this week. We're not talking about that. I really want to read it. <laughs> um, I got 42 pages in um it's nothing on the book um I just didn't I couldn't focus my brain's not in it and I don't want to try and force myself to read more because I want to enjoy this book and actually have the chance to enjoy it I will say though there was one bit in the first like 20-ish pages that really confused me because the pacing on the timing was so off in the sense that one page like th this whole conversation's happening and at one point the daughter is leaving to go to school and then like the next page which is i would have thought is like she's literally just walked out the door and is on her way to school but apparently now she's getting a call the mum's getting a call from the principal that she's got to come down because her kid's done something and i'm like but this has only just happened she's just left for school how is she already at school getting into trouble but apart from that, like that that one little continuity error, because that's what I'm calling it, really confused me. <laughs> but um, I'm looking forward to seeing where this one goes. I'm excited because it's like a fake dating, but I don't think she's going to end up with a person she's fake dating. But also, it's a second chance romance as well. So we'll see. But um this is my next read and um, my audiobook that i was thinking of starting is the stolen air <laughs> it's not on my tbr i know but after reading um how the king of elfheim learned hate stories i'm back in this world now and i, I don't want to kill that momentum so when i saw this was available uh for audiobook i was like screw it let's do this um so this will probably be my next book after this or at the same time like depends on how i'm feeling whether i want to read physical or audio um but yeah that's my update i am gonna go and i will catch up with you tomorrow hello it is friday i'm gonna be honest i can't remember the last time i actually spoke to you i can't remember if it was tuesday or wednesday um if it wasn't Wednesday, if it was Tuesday, um, I had a really bad mental health day on Wednesday. Like, really bad. And then yesterday, I just chatted with a friend and it was just, it was nice. And, and then I started planning my TBR for next month, which is all planned now and I'm very excited to film it. <laughs> um, but reading updates, I have two good ones and then one that I want to throw into the sun. So that's great. I'm going to go with the good ones first. 
surprisingly, Dragonhaven, really enjoying this. There is one thing I hate almost all the characters in this. I only actually like Elise and Lefren. Thymara is a close third. But Elise, Lefren, Carson's pretty okay. But the rest of them, I don't actually care what happens to all of them. Um, but I'm enjoying the actual plot, which is the main thing. Um, and then I started The Stolen Air. So I, I can't actually remember if I mentioned this. When I went to my physio, I've basically got to go on like half hour walks three times a week, which is great for my pain. Great. Gonna make things worse, but okay. And I started the audio for um, The Stolen Air and then I got home. So I've been doing the walks on my lunch breaks. And I, I got back before the end of my lunch break. So I sat and actually like read along with the audio. So I'm like just over 100 pages in. And I'm really enjoying this. I I thought this whole thing was going to be... My phone's going crazy. I'm popular today. Popular. You're gonna be popular. Um, I thought this whole thing was going to be from Oak's perspective. But I am six chapters in and none of it's been from his perspective. It's been from the other main character. And I'm very intrigued to see where this is going. I'm really, really excited. I'm really enjoying this. It's been great diving back into this world. Like I read How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories last week. And I'm just, or was that this week? I can't even remember at this point. But I'm just really enjoying being back in this world. And I'm so glad I decided to just pick it up off of TBR. And then the book I want to throw into the sun is Old Flames and New Fortunes. I am over halfway. I only have this little bit left. I am so angry with something that's just been revealed about one of the main characters. I already have been like on the fence about who the actual person she's going to end up with is because I really love the guy that she's doing the fake dating with but like they are actually fake dating they're not falling in love they are very much fake faking it and the one that she's very clearly going to end up with is the blast from the past like her ex-boyfriend from her teenage years and I hate him I actually hate him I've been disliking his character since the beginning and then this i was just starting to warm to him and then something has just been revealed and i'm like absolutely not i want to dnf it but also i want to see what sort of like explanation is gonna ha be for this thing like i'm so angry i've actually i actually threw the book onto my table because i was like i don't want to read it anymore tonight i'm done I'm so angry because I was actually starting to enjoy it. And there was a steamy scene that didn't give me the ick. See, I can read female male, like, steamy and not get the ick. So it is definitely a Tessa Bailey thing <laughs> and some other authors. I'm just, is this book going to just be a massive disappointment for me? Because I can't take losing another romance author that I loved. Because I absolutely adore You Deserve Each Other. It's one of my favourite romances. And is this going to now tar that? Because I did like Twice Shy. It wasn't my favourite. I don't think I'll reread it. But also, I still enjoyed it. But this, I'm like... Get out of my face. <sighs> now I'm going to go rant to um, people that want to know why I'm angry at it and who don't care about spoilers so I'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is Saturday I am so tired I've had one of those days where I've just like I've done I've overdone it physically <laughs> I I had to go to little then I had to tidy up our storage cupboard that cupboard that has all like the bedding and towels then I had to <laughs> Um, we got a nice day and I said the first nice day we get weather wise I am going to um, deep clean my 
swing chairs in the garden so that I can actually start using them <laughs> now that the nicer weather's coming. <sighs> so I did that. Uh, and I made dinner. And I'm, I'm, I'm tired. Um, but I read my buddy read pages for Dragon Haven. Something heartbreaking happened and then something that I was wanting to happen happened and I was like, oh yes. <laughs> Thank you. Um, we're finishing this tomorrow. This is all we've got left. I'm so excited to finish this. And then I finished Old Flames and New Fortunes. And yeah, this is going to Chloe, app system but one. Because I don't want it anymore. I'm done. I, after yesterday's pages, when something was revealed, I instantly knew from that moment, nothing was going to redeem this book. There was a, like, I will say, there was a really nice conversation between the three sisters. Um, so one of the sisters has a teenager or soon to be teenager. And the three and the other two don't have kids. And they had a really nice conversation about how the one who doesn't have kids, like the two that don't have kids, one of them wants kids eventually and the other one um, doesn't want kids ever. And it was just really nice to see them support each other's decisions. And there was even a comment about how like society just like pressures you as a woman to have children. Because apparently that's all we're supposed to do. And it was really nice to just see, you know, the one who wants kids wants them because she wants them. She doesn't want them because society has told her to want them. And the one who doesn't want them is very set in... She's not going to change her mind. She just wants all the nieces and nephews. Um, and that, that I did like that. Um, and I liked the um, the magic, like the Flora Fortunes. That was really cute. But apart from that, no. And I liked Trevor. I'm sad she didn't end up, end up with Trevor. And that's not a spoiler because it's very clear from the blurb. She's not ending up with Trevor. <laughs> um, but yeah, this was a two star. And I'm done. I feel really bad because it was a review copy. Um, it won an art. It's a finished copy. But Little Brown sent it to me. Um, and they did actually send out a email to everyone that they sent it to with a form like oh please post your reviews tag us and I've done my review on Goodreads um but I've I've replied to the email and just said like base I've, I've said it better than this but I've basically said look I didn't like the book I don't feel comfortable tagging you at or putting my review on the form but my review is on Goodreads and like thanked them for sending me it um because it was one of my most anticipated books of the year and I've said that because I enjoyed like I enjoyed Twice Shy and I absolutely adored You Deserve Each Other. But I just, this one wasn't it for me and I'm really sad about that. I don't think I'm going to unhaul You Deserve Each Other because I do think I might reread that. Um, I don't think I've, like, even though I've hated this book, it's not to the point where I don't want to read anything by her ever again. I think this is just a glitch in the system. I hope so. I'm really sad about it, but we move on i did however then treat myself as a reward it's like a reward um for finishing old flames and new fortunes i sat myself down with this um i finished this this was a five star i will say i only just got a five star which means i anticipate the prisoner's throne to be a solid full five star not just just hitting five star um the ending i did not see coming and i absolutely love that holly black does this because i it's been so long since i read a holly black book that isn't a standalone because obviously book a night is a standalone well i don't actually know if it's a standalone anyway it's been so long since I read one of her series books that I forgot just how well she does this. Because since reading the Cruel Prince trilogy, I like the Folk of the Air trilogy, I've read Darkest Part of the Forest, which is a standalone, The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, which is a standalone, How the King of Elfheim Learned to Hate Stories, which is a collection of short stories set in this world, but it bridges the gap between the first trilogy and the second trilogy so there wasn't really like any sort of cliffhanger or anything because it was just short stories bridging the gap and to an extent that didn't even bridge the gap it was just a bit extra from the first trilogy but then this 
I was not expecting this to be in the perspective of a different character. I genuinely thought this was going to be Oak. Oak was in the whole book. Like, Oak is a massive part of this book. Um, I'm curious to see if the second book is from Oak's POV. I would like to see that, but at the same time, I don't mind because I love Surin. I think she's amazing and I cannot wait. I, I can't read The Prisoner's Throne this month. Like... I have not finished my TBR yet. I know we are only on the 13th. We're not even halfway through the month. And I am over halfway through my TBR plus extras. But I, I do want to try and be a little bit better. And I do want to get through my TBR books. So I don't know what I'm starting tomorrow. I kind of want to start something I can finish tomorrow. Um, but I do also need to film and edit. So we'll see. I might... I might go for the Raven King because I don't think that's super long. But yeah, I'm th th I'm happy with this. Um, I am actually, I'm, I'm going to end my vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to end it first thing in the morning, essentially, because I'm going to listen to this. I'm going to listen to the last, like, however much there is left of the audiobook. Let's have a look. I have 38 minutes left of the audiobook so I'm gonna read this first thing in the morning and then quickly wrap up the vlog so that I can have this book finished in that vlog like in this vlog um and then anything else I read tomorrow I'll just mention in next week's vlog um but yeah so I will catch up with you tomorrow morning hello it is Sunday I am apologizing in advance if you hear either the fan um because it is so warm today or if you hear some sort of like like garden tool because my dad is currently doing the gardening <laughs> um but as promised i thought i'd give you an update i did finish dragon haven it is a four star which i am very happy about because the first book in this series was a three star i think this one i think as as the two of them they should have been the first book of a trilogy um i didn't like how the first one was done i didn't like how the first one was like split out and i do think this one was kind of a weird place to end but at the same time it still ended on a pretty okay place um but i finished it um i think we are me and kelly are buddy reading a different book next month and then going back to this series in june so we're gonna like break up the robin hob because it's a lot it is a lot um like it doesn't see i know it's like a big book anyway but then the writing i mean but then the writing is like so small and there's just so much so many words on a page um so yeah and also i actually forgot to show you this yesterday my Ezra Funko came. So Star Wars Rebels is like, is my favorite other than Bad Batch. And I found out about it is so late <laughs> that by the time I discovered it, all the Funkos are so hard to get hold of apart from Hera. Chopper is a little bit easier to get hold of now. Um, there are two choppers and annoyingly, so I wanted the, the main chopper. And I got him he was the hard one to get hold of and I didn't want the special edition one um and now the special edition one's hard to get a hold of so I've sort of like I, I, I should have just got it um but I've managed to get Zeb, Hera and Chopper and now this is not the original Ezra from the original um what's the word I can't think of the word the original like run of Funkos they have released this new one which is different um he looks very different and this is from a particular scene at the end of season four actually the final episode um and I am so glad they've released this that this is a new Funko that they've released so I was like straight on it with pre-ordering it and I've been seeing everyone get their pre-orders because they pre-ordered from Funko I pre-ordered from Pop Culture and I've been getting FOMO I'm like I want my Ezra Funko please and thank you um but he's here now and I'm very happy um so yeah I'm still gonna try and get hold of the other one but I've not seen it go for less than 100 and I'm not paying that much for a Funko absolutely not um so yeah but then again I did also think Captain Rex Rex would I would never have Captain Rex because he went for over 100 and then like 
I found him on eBay for like a third of the price just because the box is a little bit damaged. So you never know. You never know. But anyway, I think this is a bit of a longer vlog than usual. I clearly have talked a lot. I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Bye.